Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Do you ever get nostalgic and just want to live the glory days of gaming? Well, so do I. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's let's do some uh, classic DOS gaming and some classic Windows 98 gaming on this old system right here. Stick around and let's get right to it. All right, before we dive in, let's do just a quick... Uh, hardware recap. We have a shuttle board. Uh, it's an IA440BX based system. Um, pretty nice board actually. We have a uh, slot one Pentium 3 at 500 megahertz. We got 256 megs of RAM. We have a Voodoo 2 video card. We have a Sound Blaster Live audio card. And we're going to install on this 16 gigabyte uh disk on module uh i could put a old school ide you know spinning rust drive in here but eh it just why <laughs> this is 16 gigs is more than enough these are fast and i like them and then we're going to use a gotech uh i do have a uh a couple of real floppy drives but i just hate dealing with floppies and you know honestly it's 2024. Let's just use a GoTech floppy emulator. And then I'm going to use um, the sort of easy DOS setup from uh, Phil's computer lab. And I'll show you that in just a second. And then, of course, we just have an old IDE DVD ROM drive. So, yeah, without uh, further ado, let me show you the GoTech setup. And then we'll get right to installing DOS and installing Windows 98, and we'll just mess around with some games. All right, so to get uh, DOS installed, we're gonna use uh, an image file that was, uh, that contains a DOS installer that was created by uh, Phil from Phil's Computer Lab. So you can you can just go to his, um, his uh, website here and you can just download the file. And then the GoTech uses this little utility. And uh, I've currently got the tool set up to, uh, to have uh, 50 uh, floppies. But you can actually do 100, but 50 is enough for me. So basically what we do is we'll just uh, right-click the first slot. We're going to write an image file. We'll go into where I have stuff saved. This is the uh, boot disk from Phil at Phil's computer lab. And we'll just click open. And there you go. So um, slot 000 on the GoTech now has the uh, boot image from Phil. So yeah, now I'll just uh, take that USB out of my computer, go plug it back into the GoTech, and we'll fire up that old computer. I'll see you in a sec. All right, so I've got the USB uh, flash drive in the GoTech. Let's fire this bad boy up. Oops. Let's move that. One of these. There we go. <clears throat> As you can see, I don't have a case. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't know if you guys have looked online for retro cases lately. They are insane the cost of them. I do have some cases I could put this in, but it's just, you know, some new generic mid tower. And, uh, I don't plan on having this sticking around. I just took all the stuff off the shelf and put it together. So one day, one day I'll get some generic or some generic one day I'll get some classic computer cases to put some of this hardware in so I, I can keep it there. But yeah, money, you know, Okay, so we don't really need CD-ROM right now, so I'm just going to load the computer with uh, just some expanded memory. And so, uh, one thing I just realized, I wasn't booting from the floppy. Let's go into the BIOS and fix that. Okay, here we go. Starting MS-DOS. Okay, so we're going to run uh, FDisk first because we're going to prepare that um well we'll just call it a hard drive for ease of conversation but it's disk on module 
So we got to format that, wipe and format that hard drive. So let's display the current partition information. So we have two partitions. So we're going to delete uh, a partition. So let's delete the primary. And primary is number one. Yes, the volume label is called B for some reason. Uh, oh, volume label doesn't match. What? That's weird. Does it not say B? Interesting. Okay, we're back. Luckily, I have a, uh, a USB to, uh, well, it's like a multi thing, and it's got SATA and 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch connections, and you can connect it to your computer. So this disk on module can connect to it to my main computer. So I've wiped it. So uh, we're going to just display, I just created a FAT32 partition on it, which obviously is not going to be good, but I wanted to show deleting. So here's our current um, partition. It's a non-DOS, it's 14 gigs. So we're going to delete, we're going to delete the primary, which is number one. And, uh, oops, sorry, we're going to delete um, non-DOS, sorry, escape. We're going to delete, and it's a non-DOS. There it is. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Boom, done. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a primary partition. We're going to create a primary DOS, DOS partition, so number one. And do you want to use the maximum size? Yes. And so now we just are going to reboot because we need to format it. So we'll just press any key. Okay, so the instructions on the, the Phil's Computer Lab website for this boot disk state that you should, after you've uh, created the partition, you should run uh, fdisk slash mbr. Uh, and then that's not how you spell F disk, F disk forward slash MBR. I, I'm assuming this must fix something for a possible boot issue or whatever. So anyway, we'll do that. We're going to format C for, uh, forward slash system. Okay, so we're going to click yes, we want to do that. So that's going to format the C drive and it's going to, it's going to, uh, uh, copy the system files for DOS over. Okay, and because it's a disk on module, it's like really, really fast to get this done. That's what I like about it. So I'm just going to call this uh, DOS. All right, so now I'm going to run install. Okay, so now it's going to copy over the drivers from that image that uh, Phil created. Okay, and we're done. So let's reboot. Uh, I'll go into the BIOS and uh, change the boot order and we'll just boot from the C drive into DOS. All right, so here we go. Uh, just uh, full disclosure off camera, I took this, uh, this disk on module, I put it in my main computer and on the free space that was left, I just used the Windows disk management tool and I created a FAT32 partition. And I've since um, booted from the actual Windows 98 disk and started the setup because I wanted to make sure that it could see drive D and it did. Uh, I basically just said that it was reporting its free space wrong and it fixed it. So we're going to just continue on here and we'll let uh, Windows get going. All right, so I'm not going to bother with, uh, you know, showing the installation and or even just fast forwarding through it on the on the video. I'll just bring you back once uh, Windows 98 is installed. All right, here we go. Windows 98 up and running. Let's get some drivers installed. So I've got them 
under the drivers folder. So let's do this uh, Voodoo driver first. And we'll run setup. And, and actually, I made a mistake. It's not a Voodoo 2. It's a Voodoo 3 2000. Uh, it seemed awful fast, but sure, whatever. Let's just do that. Hey, that looks better already, doesn't it? Okay, so we can just close this for now. Uh, let's go check out our... We got 16-bit. Let's put it at the... the uh, you know what? I'm just going to leave it 800 by 600. Uh, actually, uh, I should point something out. <clears throat> uh, I do like using this, uh, this uh, 4 by 3 aspect ratio HP monitor. It does uh, 1280 by 1024, which is not bad for like Windows 98 kind of things like that. It also handles uh, 640 by 480 quite nicely. It looks okay. I do have a CRT here that I may connect a little later just because I'm feeling, you know, overly nostalgic, but recording one of those, horrendous. Uh, so I just went with this for now because, you know, it is what it is. So let's uh, continue on here. Uh, we can do probably 32-bit color, make it look maybe slightly better. I mean, for me, I'm probably on the camera. It's not going to look any different whatsoever. Okay, let's go back and let's put the Autogy. Um, so... <clears throat> I'm, I'm downloading, I downloaded a uh, driver pack from Phil's computer lab that it is the Autogy drivers. However, it supports the Sound Blaster Live as well. So I'm going to go ahead and run through all these steps. I'm not going to bother um, recording this because it's just boring as hell. So give me a few minutes for you, two seconds, and we'll be right back when this, when these drivers are done. Woohoo! Okay, Windows ninety eight up and running. We got uh, Voodoo drivers. We've got uh, Sound Blaster drivers. So next step, we need to boot back into DOS and uh, get some drivers installed there and uh, maybe adjust the auto exec file. I'm not sure yet. Uh, and then let's, yeah, let's do some games. All right, we'll just choose the, I just smashed the F8 key on booting. So we get up this, the startup menu and let's just do a previous version of MS-DOS. And that should take us out to uh, our installed version of uh, DOS 6.2.2. So anyway, let's CD into live DOS. And let's do a directory. And let's do uh, live set.bat. We just do this once. Okay, so here we go. We have um, a Sound Blaster, port 220, IRQ7, DMA1. The high DMA is 5, or low DMA1. We've got a mini port, joystick, all that stuff. Okay, so we're going to reboot, and we're going to now run live uh, init.bat, and it's initializing, initialization complete. Okay, so in theory, our Sound Blaster live card is ready to rock and roll for DOS. All right, let's... Uh, Let's fire up uh, Doom as an example. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess it's the zero keys. I haven't played this for a long time.
All right. what I was attempting to do. Let's check out uh, Wolfenstein 3D. I was absolutely freaking hooked on this game when it came out. doggies. Sweet. All right. DOS gaming going good so far. Let's uh, check out. Let's check out another game. All right. Let's check out Duke Nukem 3D. that sweet general midi sound. Let's rock. Damn, those alien bastards are gonna pay for shooting up my ride. Ooh, the mouse is really sensitive. Oh my god. A super sensitive. Oh, the mouse is so sensitive. <laughs> Can you do anything with the mouse? Options. Mouse sensitivity. Yeah, here we go. Let's turn that down a little bit. Is that, is that better? Seems to be better. I think it's actually still a little high. 
Oh, that's a little better. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I guess I have to kick this guy. Whoops. Sweet. All right, let's try this uh, Castle Wolfenstein. It's a glide game. It's just a demo. Come in. Well, Jack. Have we heard anything? Yes, sir. We've just received a coded transmission from Kessler, our contact in the Chrysal Circle. And? Both agents have been captured and are being held in Castle Wolfenstein. Okay, here we go. Return to Castle Wolfenstein Glide Edition. That's pretty nice. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, there you are. Shackles up. Fuck the sea. Is everything all right down here? <laughs> Just shoot through the body. All right. One of these damn keys opens the door. There we go. All right. That was locked. Oh, I should reload. Health. Good. Oh, yeah. Got the big gun. saw nothing. All right, let's try this uh, Need for Speed 2 in glorious 3D effects. <clears throat> I do have a controller, but it's not working. Out. Doesn't help that I can't barely see a damn thing. There we 
we go. Whoops. Oh, that's dark. <laughs> Can't see nothing. Sweet. Okay, that's cool. I do like 3D FX games. All right, let's uh, run a 3D mark, see how it looks. And let's do a new 3D mark. And I guess I'm just going to leave it as is and just run the benchmark. And then we wait. Okay. We have a score of 4,039. I have no idea if that's good. Uh, can we save this? Mm. Because I'm just curious. Because I have a different Voodoo card. So I've got another another Voodoo card. It's got a TV tuner, but uh, it actually clocks a little higher. It's still a Voodoo 3 2000. Uh, or maybe it's not a 2000, but it's a Voodoo 3 anyway. Uh, let's let's um, replace that one down there, and I'll run this again. I'm just curious if we're going to get a different score. I will actually just bring you back as soon as the uh, test is done, and we can compare the scores. Well, okay, there you have it. That was fun. Uh, I played entirely <laughs> too much of that stuff <laughs> off camera <laughs> while I was shooting this video. Anyway, I hope you liked that. Uh, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you think I'm worthy. And yeah, we'll uh, see you all in the next one.